Hi and uh, welcome back to our sixth part of the tutorial on how to work with Photo Editor. This great application again developed by uh, MacGyver. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to work with uh, another uh, great tool. Uh, it's called the text uh, image tool, adding a text and image to uh, photos. Uh, let's start. Here are uh, two photos that I'm going to combine into one. Uh, this is the first one, uh, which is a little bit darker than the other, so let's do a quick uh, setup. You should uh, by now already know what to do, what uh, I'm going to do. Uh, going to the effect, um, choosing the uh, gamma tool. Um, let's make it brighter, the old photo. Now change it so I will be able to darken uh, only the sky and uh, far background. I'm not going to do it pre precisely, just to make it a little bit better. Okay, uh, apply it, uh, going back to effect, choosing the uh, auto contrast, apply it, should be fine now with the other photo. Okay, so uh, just a quick reminder, before what we have done, we went to the uh, effect, uh, scroll to the left till we reached uh, the overlay option, uh, click on the shape, now choose an image from the gallery, choose the second image, which is this one. Okay, now if we click on the invert, so we'll be able to switch between the second photo right here and click again on the invert, this is the first photo. Uh, and then we can uh, use the brush in order to brush out the first photo. Just combine it with the second one. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, that's not <laughs> what I'm going to show you today. So just hit uh, the backwards. Okay, so <laughs> this is our first photo. Now let's uh, uh, stay at the body menu, but we're not going into the effect. Just scroll to the left until we find um, the text image right here. Right here. Okay. Uh, there is a plus icon. Right now the edit, delete and rage are grayed out. It will be uh, open later on. We'll see it in a minute. So click on the uh, plus and now there is option to add text, image or shape. Uh, maybe later on we, we will handle with the text and the shape. Right, right now let's go to the uh, most important uh, feature right here. Go to the add image. Um, the rear uh, image picker, built-in image pic picture or change image, it's the same, so choose one of them. Uh, open, uh, actually choose the second image that you want to combine. Now you can uh, crop a little bit, if you wish, of course. Okay. Uh, okay. Click on the uh, crop free. Now uh, style. Choose again the brush and the hardness size. Apply. And just brush. You know what? Uh, let's uh, reduce the size of the brush. Now I'm going to brush uh, the photo, only the image. Try to do the best I can. And it's not the best I can. You should be more patient while doing it. Okay, uh, apply. And now the uh, advantage over the overlay option that now you are able uh, to move and to resize the photo the way you want and just place it or locate it wherever you want. So let me put it right here. And yep, okay. Uh, edit, delete and arrange and open, you can r get back and edit uh, if you want to change something and inside you can actually undo or redo. Uh, let's stay with the apply. 
uh, delete if you want to delete this option I'm not going to do it and going to the range uh, yet all options are grayed out you're not able uh, to choose them the reason is uh, because we're actually using one photo as a background this is the main photo and the second one is the layer the first layer so it's not possible to take the layer right here and switch it with the background I mean you cannot put it under it the, the background so what you could do is click the plus again add image go again to the library I'm going to choose the first photo again uh, let's scrap it a little bit something like that okay uh, let's brush it I'm going to enlarge it okay and apply now we actually have uh, one background which is the first photo second background the girl photo and the third uh, sorry second photo which is the first layer layer uh, the daughter uh, the girl sorry and uh, the second layer which is the third photo this guy so we can now locate him right here and again we have the first layer the background right here and the second layer right here now if I drag the second layer over the girl which is the first layer hopefully you understand and going to the arrange now I'll be able to send backward uh, and actually switch between these two layers let's do it for example uh, let's use the send backward oops now you will be to see now the girl become as uh, the first vis visible layer and the boy is behind her let's go to the range and switch it bring to front oops now the uh, boy is in front of her uh, let's put it right here and re okay you know what let's put let's put it here mm doesn't really matter okay by touching the layer you're choosing what layer to work with uh, I know something like that okay now we are all set and click here to apply once you have clicked the uh, uh, the green V and applied it, it's it's combined into one photo, so you're not uh, able to work anymore with the uh, with the layer. So uh, you cannot reverse it. I mean, you can always go back and uh, um, cancel what you've done. But right now, if you want to change, for example, only this layer, you're not able to do it. This is now one photo. Uh, let's click again the text image. If since we're here, plus uh, icon go to the add text uh, click right here mm, switch to English how to oops, how do you mm, like it okay uh, click here on the properties if you want to change something uh, many many great option right here uh, let's locate it in the center uh, change the font uh, enlarge or reduce the font size you can add it as a preset uh, really many many other options um, okay I'm sure you'll uh, play with it and be more professional than I do right here. Uh, let's change the color into uh, purple, something like this. Uh, okay, and apply it. And now drag it wherever it will be visible. 
how do you like it and now we have combined uh, three photos and text and you can do much more right here uh, okay go play with it and enjoy see you in our uh, next tutorial bye bye